Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be playing Pumpo today. I'll try to go for top one. I think I'm like top 30 right now, so just about like five, six games should put me up there. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And matter of fact, I'm actually playing pigs right now and I have the fireball in the deck, so should be some decent like surprise factor. Like later on in the game, once I bait out the EQ on the pump, I'm actually gonna go in, try to fireball out the pigs on the expo, and then he's gonna be confused and then he's probably gonna lose the game that's my plan anyways but yeah fireball does allow like a lot of surprise factor in this deck because a lot of people don't expect a big spell they just kind of expect you to have like all the cheap cards with that expo and the pump and then yeah fireball is really good also like versus lava loon and stuff i don't even think the matchup is that bad if you have a fireball in the deck all right let's go for the queen in the back here so i could expo right now on the left here to see if i can bait out like a really good set of pigs or something yeah just gonna expo I'm actually going to instantly pop my ability to see if I can block the cannon. Oh, that was kind of unfortunate. I popped it like a second late, but Fireball should kind of help me out here. Wait, he can't pop the ability. He's at like two elixir right now. He has to EQ. Okay, wait. Wait, he has one. Okay, two now. He probably has goblins back, so I'm going to pop. Oh, nice. Wait, he's going to have to log that. And if he logs, I go like Ice Spirit Goblins right here. Oh my god, beautiful. Yo, that sequence was so good. I get like the whole tower here. Look at the goblins. Oh my god. <laughs> That was actually some amazing game sense. I feel like ever since I started playing the Mighty Miner, I've been pulling those plays off a lot. Like, I'm kind of getting the hang of, like, the ability and how to outplay in single. So, yeah, games have been kind of easier ever since I started playing the Mighty Miner. So, if you don't have it max, you probably want to max it out and then play this deck on ladder. But, anyway, it's going to Arches in the back here. Okay, Queen in the back. Just going to Fireball that. I don't agree with that. I think you should have played it opposite lane, but... I get a free fireball here, and I don't care about the pigs because I can always like eat some damage and then just go for like a log, ice spirit, fire spirit to full counter, even the goblins, but he might log. Okay, never mind. Okay, he's like three off pigs right now. He has the queen down, two off pigs, kind of goblins high. Log on the queen, so he won't really be able to abuse the three card cycle anymore. Still two off pigs. Oh, well, he gave up, so I'll take the win. Yeah, if I didn't have the fireball this game, I think I would have lost like in single. Not much you can do in this matchup if you don't have a fireball, but that fireball was such an MVP. I like took out the pigs and then I popped the Mighty Man her ability on the goblins when I knew that he only had goblins for defense. And then, yeah, I just kind of played the Ice Spirit and the goblins baiting out the log too on the Mighty Man. So yeah, I'll take the win. 37, definitely deserved though. Amazing plays this game, but yeah, I'll take the win. Alright, I'm in a match. Oh, this guy plays Sparky, like Gob Giant, Sparky, Lightning, Arrows type of stuff. So I'm going to Arches in the back here to cycle. Okay, I kind of wish I had my pump next, because sometimes I can actually starting hand with the pump if he doesn't have the lightning in cycle, but just going to log here and then just going to wait for him to make a play. He's pretty aggressive in single from what I've noticed, so he might try to go in. All right, I guess not. I'm going to goblins like super high here to pull the phoenix and then kill the barbarella as well. Not that I really had to pull the phoenix, but I just wanted to kind of play the goblins on the barbarella and then just make sure I'd get the maxis out of them yo he just used like 10 elixir he played a hunter and a lightning <laughs> yo this guy has no elixir right now he probably is a dark prince right about now but i do have the mighty miner to block it he actually should have like six right now um before he played the dark prince so i'm surprised that he didn't go for like a snowball to predict the ice spirit or something oh because he was saving up for a phoenix okay that makes sense but yeah i already won the game look at that look at all the damage i got from that holy crap i'm just gonna eat the Barbara I'm gonna go for goblins on the egg and then yeah the barb should also die to it and I even out the damage look at that now I can pump on the left here and beat out the lightning again but I don't think he's gonna lightning though yeah I'm just gonna pump right now he's at like two elixir nothing he can do here he can't gob giant not back to dark prince he can't lightning map pump he can't even go phoenix or anything he's not even back to it only has gob giant sparky lightning and a arrows in hand right now so probably gonna have to sparky the back and if he does do that I'm probably going to go for Axe Ball opposite lane to base something out. Actually, why don't I just Axe Ball on defense right now? Yeah, I'm just going to set one up on defense. Going to Ice Spirit first. Actually, going to Archers in the back. He's kind of leaking Elixir. I don't like this. I need him to make a play right now. Okay. Let's go for the arrows on the Archer and the pump. So, going to Mighty in the middle. I kind of want to bait out the Sparky, not going to lie. So, I can Axe Ball, but he's kind of playing it smart. All right, wait, no, he's going to Gob Giant Kite here, so I need a Axe Bond defense here, and then probably going to bait out the Lightning with it. Then I can Arches on the side, bait out the Arrows with the Arches on the side, and then possibly Goblins low so he doesn't Barbarrel it. Okay, scratch all that. He just went Sparky in the back. He didn't Lightning to begin with. So I'm going to Fireball. Like, that was a pretty dumb Sparky. Wait, does he even know that I have a Fireball? I don't think so. Yeah, that's why he went for a Sparky in the back. I think that was the first time I played my Fireball the whole game, so... 
It's pretty funny that he played the Sparky Sam lane to not let me go in, but I do have the fireball. Okay, this might be a little bit tough here. Goblin's on the Sparky, and then he's probably gonna arrows. Okay, Ice Bear on it, and then it should not shoot more archers. Doesn't matter if it does, I can just kind of log it out, but yeah, beautiful. He played the arrows already, so he can't kill more archers, and that is going to be GG. 10 seconds left, Sparky in the back. I hate to bring it out to you, but that's not gonna make it on my side, bro. <laughs> Sparky in the back with 10 seconds left. Kind of funny to me. I think he gave up already, but still kind of funny to me. I'll take the win though. Um, that is not gonna give me a lot, like probably 20, 25. You know what? I'll take that. That's gonna put me at top 21. Not bad. All right, I'm in a match. Woo TV. Okay, I need to play smart. Last time I faced this guy, I kind of made the game close. I think it was like 100 HP or something, but I do have the matchup by a lot. He's playing Splash Yard, by the way, so it's not that bad of a matchup. I'm gonna Elixir Pump right now because why not? I bait out the poison, and if he went in, I had the Mighty Miner and had to block the bridge and then just go Archer's Lower, like Goblin Flow or something. So I was kind of chilling there. I'm um, just going to Mighty in the back now. See what he does. Michael Knight in the back. BBD in the back. Something in the back, at least. Okay, I just go for the Knight in the back. I don't want to leak Elixir, the one extra Elixir I'm about to get from that pump, so I'm just going to go in. And I'm going to Archer's right now. Wait, this game is over, I think. Kind of Goblin's here. Okay, he has the NATO. He's at three now, so NATO. Okay, not bad. And then he has to... Wait, does he have to do anything for the Mighty? I don't think so. I wish the Mighty stayed on my side and not went to his side. So he would have to, like, tombstone on the Mighty, like, on top of the Mighty. And then I would just Axe Bone win the game. But I think I get a lock here anyways. I forget that he's back tonight. Shouldn't matter too much, though. I should be able to get a lock with the Fireball on the Ice Wiz. Whoa, that was kind of bad. I don't think he has a ground card to stop the Axe Bone right now. Nice. All right, I'll take that damage. Um... Just gonna go for archers and ice spear. I feel like I kind of overcommitted on this defense right here. I probably could have eaten the baby dragon or just played an ice spirit on it, or even just the archers on it. But I played both the archers and the ice spirit, so I don't know. Kind of felt like an overcommit. Not that he can punish me for it though. I think I'm in a really good spot right now. This is like amazing. Not much you can do here, but yeah, just gonna go for. I'm just gonna pump. I was gonna mighty on it, but I'm just gonna pump and then I'm gonna go for goblins on the barbarrow. Oh my goodness, that NATO was so good. Had he hit like the front two goblins, I think I would have had to go for a log on the bar barrel or something to not take like three hits on my tower. But yeah, that was a really good NATO that I'll give it to him. I'm going to Mighty in the back. Okay, Archer split here. I don't really have to play them same lane because if I do, he might poison that out and I don't like that. So just going to go for a log on the tombstone. Whoa, he's actually going to poison the one Archer too. All right, well, I'll pop my ability actually. Yeah, I'll just pop it. doesn't matter. I was kind of like having second thoughts on it. Like I didn't want to pop it at the same time, but till right now, just gonna expo, just gonna go for archers over here to see if I can get the knight. No knight, what the hell? Okay, well, I guess I get a fat lock here. Wait, kill it, nice, okay. Oh, I thought I messed up there because my ice spirit died. I needed the ice spirit to jump and then the fireball to hit like quickly. Okay, he gave up, nice. All right, that's what I'm looking for. This game was kind of clean, except for that, like, one overcommit on the baby dragon, but it didn't matter too much because he wasn't able to punish me for it. But in the future, I'm going to have to watch out to not do that. Just going to pop my ability here, see if I can take out the other tower. But nah, too late. Don't have enough time, so I'll take the win. This game is going to put me in the top 20, I'm pretty sure. I was, like, 21 before this game, so I think it's going to put me at, like, 16, 15, maybe. Let's see. 14. All right, got a game. Facing EDU Light. This guy's super toxic. He plays like Lumber Loon Freeze type attack, so pretty annoying matchup. Only because I have one air DPS card. Pretty much just one card that hits air. Well, the Fire Spirit and the Ice Spirit don't really matter. I mean, Ice Spirit kind of clutch in this, but Fire Spirit doesn't really do anything, so gonna have to watch out. Yo, he might go Lumber Loon here. I'm gonna have to Archer same lane. Okay, I think I lost. Yeah, it does go for the Balloon opposite lane. That was pretty smart, but wait. What if I let the balloon get a hit on my tower, right? And then I go fireball, that way he won't be able to freeze on time. Because he's going to wait for the balloon to get low and then freeze, right? But if I do this, he won't really be able to react on time and, like, freeze on time. Nice, that was so genius. I don't know if I explained that right, but... An average Axe player definitely would have lost their tower there. But yeah, I was able to save it. And he was going to Axe Mighty Miner block the bowler. And then if I get the bowler, I win. Because then he has to NATO, but it's only going to get, like, two hits on the Axe Bow. Yeah, that's one. Probably gonna get one more. Not even. Yo, I'm chilling. Nice. Okay, that was at like three elixirs, so he only has two right now. Three. He's gonna have to lumberjack a four, so I'm gonna pop it. Just gonna pop my ability to predict it. Nice. Alright, beautiful. He's like 
at one elixir right now so just gonna go for a pump in the back and he can't do anything yeah i don't even have to log that i'm just gonna eat that yeah i'm gonna have to kind of learn how to be patient with this deck sometimes because you also have to kind of eat some damage oftentimes to be able to make like a really good push and like tough matchups but I'm gonna archers right now to kill the balloon should not get the second hit on the axe but i hope not anyways please ah, oh that was so annoying if that stays alive, I think it takes it down to like 500. And I don't really have to go in again because I do have the fireball in my deck. But yeah, let's see what he does here. Just going to log and then I'm going to pump again because why not? Yeah, I feel like pump in the middle is going to be a huge help. Because if he goes in with like a really big push with a bullard nato in it, I might have to axe on defense to kind of pull the balloon around. And then it's going to go to my king. Like go to the pump and then the king. Mighty in the back. A bit of a bad mighty here. He's going to get like a nice nato on here, but... I want to let him have the nato because he played the e-drag in the back so that's eight elixir right off the bat and then i can goblin's high here could have played it on top but yeah too bad just gonna play it on the middle and then just gonna archers here and he's gonna go in what this guy is crazy i would never push into the archers willingly but looks like he wants to go in so that was horrible expo's gonna lock on and then i can pump again i can even fireball if i want balloon's not gonna make it to my um pump not even the death bomb is going to make it there wait a second he played an eye drag in the back i'm gonna go for axe but i'm not gonna arch this though because i feel like he's gonna bowler low yeah nice because um i've been playing mighty miner and stuff for like the high bowler so he probably wanted to be careful but since i knew what he was up to he couldn't really um get the bowler on the expo wait goblins here to save my expo oh beautiful can't do anything now i don't think i'm just gonna expo he has to defend my mighty miner Yo, he's no elixir, bro. I'm, I'm gonna BM this guy. <laughs> we just played an eye drag at five elixir when he had to worry about a whole axe spell. But to be fair, though, the mighty would have taken out the tower. So, 19 trophies, not bad. All right, I'm in a game right now. Um, facing Betfest. By the way, guess how many ranks I moved up from that game? Zero, literally none. So yeah, just gonna have to win a lot of games to push up, I guess. Okay, he's playing Remy Elite deck nato like marcher val kind of stuff probably a knight actually knight's pretty popular in this i'm gonna fireball the marcher and then i'm just gonna pump in the middle he's probably gonna minor it then i'm gonna go for the goblins on the minor and then i think i'll be okay oh that's beautiful actually he played the minor on the tower so now he can't really take out my pump yeah i feel like i'm chilling right now and if he goes like valk wall breakers i can actually go for mighty minor ice spirit and then log don't even have to mighty on second though okay well i'll mighty now because he kind of stalled it out but yeah, just gonna go for a log on this and then he has to defend my mighty probably gonna spare gobs in the middle but doesn't matter elixir is elixir i'll take that for sure probably gonna have to pop my ability on that actually i mean it's not gonna do anything even if i pop it so i'll just eat the damage here just gonna let the mighty go and then i'm gonna go for a second pump okay he played the minor in the middle i'm just gonna pump in the back again because i'm back to a second pump and yeah looking pretty good so far Got a whole pump lead on him, and then his miner also had a cycle. He might march her here, though. Okay, kind of had a feeling he would march her the archer, but I guess not. Definitely going to take that fireball. I'm going to fireball the marcher in the tower. Not bad. I get damage on both lanes. So I think he's one-off miner right now. I don't think he's going to miner the pump because it's, like, halfway dead. That'd be a really bad miner, too, because then I get to go in. That'd be my cue to go in, but I have to wait till like, he cycles a Valk or, like, a bomb tower to go in arches in the back here um i could pump but like i don't i don't want to just like pump forever and not go in oh that's my cue to go in okay i'm just gonna go expert right now he played a bomb tower in the middle so this defense is going to be super hard for him because i'm gonna mighty here to predict a valk on the archer and then he's probably gonna have to miner on the expo so i'm gonna keep my eye spear ready nice i got the miner so i'm gonna go goblins on it then i'm gonna fireball the marcher out really fast expo lock on nice he okay, played the spray gobs late, so I'm gonna pop my ability on it and then just gonna kill like two of them. One of them should die to my mighty miner itself. Okay, I guess not, but just gonna pump in the middle again. And yeah, that was a pretty good sequence. Okay, he might try to do something funny here, like pull off a really good NATO or something. Uh okay, that was a bit of an overcommit. I wasn't really planning on goblins, like playing the goblins on the miner anyways. So I'm gonna mighty, he's at two, three now, so I'll NATO back. Yeah, just go for the NATO. I'm gonna arches on the side. Okay, he should barely have enough for like a Valak once everything dies, but I'm back to a second X, but I think I'll be okay. Uh, yeah, just gonna Goblins here to see if I can get the Wall Breakers opposite lane. Alright, not bad. Gonna Expo in the middle, and then, yeah, the Goblin should get like decent damage on the tower. I'm actually gonna Fireball the Bomb Tower. Oh, I could hit like two of them. X. 
I should have stayed patient a little. I could have hit like two of them, but kind of keeping him on his toes though. He's also kind of defending pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna goblin side to see if I can get the wall breakers. Nope. No wall breakers right now. And then he's probably gonna pull them back with it though. Okay, he's definitely gonna go Valk here. Oh boy, this is not fun to defend here, but I'm gonna fireball. Oh, fat fireball. I'll take that though. Just gonna archers. Then I'm gonna ice bear on the miner. Only one shot on my pump because I kind of failed to guess the right spot, but. Ice Spirit does help out a lot when it comes to, like, catching a Miner. Alright, see what he does here. Um, Do I go for a second pump? now? Nah, I'm just going to ask about defense. I feel like I could, but no point because Triple Elixir is in 20 seconds. So I'm just going to play an Axe in the middle. I'm not sure if that was, like, a I give up NATO or, like, a I'll do the damage on the pump and the Axe Bond NATO. Okay, I guess it was the I'll do the damage NATO. Okay, I kind of have to pump now. Like, he played a Valk in the back, and I don't want to go into that, so... Kind of had to pump to also cycle. Gonna Axe right now. And then Bomb Tower middle. Wait, that's a massive fireball on the Mortar and the Bomb Tower though. What's he doing there? Gonna Ice Spirit on the Miner. Caught it. Nice. Then I'm gonna Goblins on it. Just gonna Archers. Gonna Log. Okay, Axe died. Because I kind of played my Archers like off center. Yo, what was that Marcher? <laughs> oh, shoot. What was that Axe <laughs> Yo, we're making misplays back to back. Kind of crazy, but I think I'm in a pretty good spot right now, so not really much that I need to worry about. Just gonna mighty, gonna axe bomb in the middle. Hey, let's just call that a defensive axe bomb. I mean, not bad, right? Like, he's not being able to play a bomb tower in the middle or anything. So, just play it now, but he should die to my axe bows. Gonna arches on the side. Gonna play a third axe bow. Wait, let me see if I can get back to like a fourth one. Goblins, okay, caught it. Wait, fireball. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Two of my axe bows died by the time I was kind of getting back to it, so that's unfortunate. I don't think I've actually ever, like, pulled that off for Axe on the field, like, in my entire life. I don't think I've ever done that, but that's a good challenge, I'm not gonna lie. Probably gonna make it a video or something. It'd be a pretty boring video, though, just trying to stack up Axe like, playing Clash of Clans or something, but, yeah, this game should put me at, like, top 8, so I'm gonna play one more. I'll see you when I find a game. All right, on to my last game, facing if this guy plays Hoggy Q Monk, so I'm dead, like... <laughs> I don't know how to win this even with a fireball like it's so bad when they have a monk mighty matter mortar winnable But like monk is like absolutely unwinnable. So just gonna ask for right now and see if I can do something, but Probably gonna bomb tower Just earthquake though. Wait, I'm gonna pop on the goblins and then I might be able to get a lock. Yo, wait That was kind of good though All right, I'm just gonna pump in the back here and he's definitely gonna go hog log right now He didn't log max, but so he's saving the log for the hog. <laughs> yeah, this guy bro he thinks he's smart. Just gonna go goblins. Yo, what? Bro, I played one of the goblins into the log, so the hog got like three shots. Nerf hog, man. Does so much damage, but yeah, I think I lost anyways. That was such a good start. The way the archers go same lane. Oh, he has no elixir. Oh, wait, he actually has no elixir and I'm gonna mighty at four. Bro, he has like no freaking elixir right now. He's probably gonna goblins on this, but I just popped the ability on it. I'm just gonna pop. Then I'm gonna go archers on this. And then just gonna goblins on the left here to get damage on the left side tower. And he's gonna have to log on the right so he can't defend the goblins properly. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Amazing game sense once again. Holy crap, that was so good. So all I really need to do now is defend the hog and just not lose my tower for the whole game for the rest of the game. And I don't see how that is possible because he might just go monk hog and then I'm dead. Like pop the ability on the axe bow with the monk. Wait, that was a bad hog. That was like a really bad hog. Gonna archers here. Might go bomb tower. Or even archers on the axe bow or something. Bomb tower, yeah. Okay. Well, not bad. I get the hog out and I get to bait out the elixir with the axe bow. I'm gonna pump in the back again. I don't think he's gonna EQ because that'd be a pretty bad EQ. I think he needs it on the right side right now. I feel like he has to try and take out my right side tower or I'm kind of like gonna win the game. Wait, on second thought, this guy probably thinks he won the game anyways because he has no idea that I have a fireball. So once I start like playing the fireball, wait, can he EQ my axe button the pump? I hope not. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, I'm gonna goblins on this right now, and then he's probably gonna hog log, so I'm gonna have to watch out. Ice spray on the side. Then I'm gonna arches on this. Can't log, by the way, because the log is going to come back to me. So, yeah, if he popped the ability there, the log would have came back at me. But he didn't pop the ability, because this guy does not know what he's doing. I'm gonna pop my ability on the goblins right now. I guess not. He kind of stalled out the goblins. Oh, that's smart, dude. That's actually so smart. I think I lost my whole tower here. Archers, please do something. Bro, I need them to, like, kill the hog right now. Please, no more. Okay, kill the, kill the monk and the archers. Expo? 
Oh, Expo MVP, bro. It, like, shredded the Monk and the Archers at the end. I'll take the win. Yo, how do you lose that, though? Losing that is actually kind of crazy. That's like a 100 0 matchup. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I'll take the win. That is going to put me at top five. So, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I know I said I'd go for top one, but it's, like, 2 a.m. right now. I'm kind of tired, so I'm just going to go to bed. I love you guys. Bye.